Hi everyone, this is Jeannie Ellis, also known as Scrapbooking Memo, and today I want to share with you a process video on how I made a wall decor. I am going to attempt to make a wooden sign using some leftover MDF boards. And so rather than uh, going ahead and doing a primer on it, I'm just going to use straight acrylic paint. And I may have to do two coats, but for now this is what I'm doing because I don't mind if some of the uh, wood look comes through. Okay, so I'm just pouring a little bit out. Actually, that was more than I thought I was going to do, but I probably will use it all. And I'm using water on my foam brush because I don't want it to necessarily be really dark. I think I'm going to have to trade my foam brush. As I was going along, my foam brush broke on me. So I wanted to get a, at least still get a, a good size one. So I went and got another one. So I am back. Not that you probably noticed I was gone. Okay, I'm going to let this first coat dry, and I will be back and see how it looks. Okay, the next thing that I did is that I cut out my letters using this silhouette, and there are plenty of uh, the tutorials out there, including I have one too, and I'll try to remember to link it below in the description box, but this is how I'm putting on the letters. Now, these are not going to stay on here. They could, but I am using them for a different way, a reason, or a different way anyway. And I've seen it done before. I just hope that it works for me. And if it doesn't, this tutorial won't go live anyway. <laughs> so anyway, I've got my letters from my vinyl onto my transfer sheet. And the vinyl is uh, Oracle. And I forget there's a number with that or not. And the transfer paper is Cricut brand. So anyway, and I did have a little trouble with the A on here. I don't know why, but what I'm going to try to do is, uh, you know, just kind of paint that in. Or I'm not really sure yet what, because I tried to fix it and it just would not let me. So, but mistakes happen, and they happen to me, it seems, a lot, but that's part of, of creativity, is that you're, you're not going to be perfect. You're not a machine. You're a person. So now I want to see if I can get these, and i got to be careful right here. I do not know why I didn't notice that, but you gotta be careful. Apparently, I was not. So, let's see if this will work. Okay, I've got it all out, and like I said, there's a mistake here, and I don't know if it will work out right, but we are going to try it anyway. So, my next step that I plan on doing, if it all works well, is to go ahead and paint it white, leave the letters on, and then once that white is dry, 
then I'll go ahead and uh, take off the letters and distress it. So let me get some more wax paper to put under here. Last time I used parchment paper, but I don't have parchment paper in here. But I do have wax paper, so we're going to try that. Getting my white now. I'm going to go empty out my brush. Water, that is, my water, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I hope my recording doesn't stop in the middle of this. But we're going to see how it works. Shake up my paint. I'm just using acrylic craft paint. Pour some on the side here. And this isn't perfect by any means. Just so you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. So here we go. This is my first time ever doing this. Okay, I have started peeling the letters off, so I'm going to continue peeling it, and I just weeded them out with this tool here uh, to pull them out, and I just try to take it pretty easy and find the edge of the letter, and then I pull gently, kind of follow the letter, and get paint on my finger. So I'm going to do that all the way, and then I'll be back with the finished part. Okay, I have peeled off all the letters, and I did do a little bit of repair work, and hopefully once this is sprayed down with a Mod, Mod Podge uh, acrylic sealer, uh, that will not show as much. But I'm just distressing the e edges here and bringing some out a little bit. You know, not making it perfect. And I'm really, I'm really happy with the way it came out. Oops, and then I stuck my finger in the paint. So we need to get that off so I don't get wrong paint on there. So this is all I'm doing. It's a little distressing here. I'm using uh, ink oxides of walnut stain. And I was going to take a brush and add some brown streaks to it, but it worked out that it, it's already done that way, so I don't have to worry about it. I'll post pictures at the end of it, and I will see you on the next video. Please like and subscribe and check out uh, my link below with my social media, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.